Many people are dealing with the aftermath of the ice and cold and flames. Beaumont firefighters put out multiple fires, possibly weather related during the freeze. KFDM's Haley Boole reports one Beaumont family is spending the day looking for anything salvageable. All that's left standing, the shell of a house. Every, everything's pretty much gone. I mean, the living room, the kitchen, bathrooms are gone. Uh, the only thing room that really wasn't too bad was my parents' room. Like, 25 going. years worth of things that made up a home gone. I actually just gotten back from work when I saw the fire trucks and started running down the street. After a fire consumed Michaela Camp's house on Glen Lane in Beaumont. I just started screaming. I was just, it just was like a nightmare come true. Her father and mother were inside the house. She saw flames out the back porch and she was like, just get out the house, get out. And then a few seconds after they got out the house, it just like engulfed in flames. They made it out okay. Investigators say the fire started in a wall behind the fireplace on to keep the family warm during the cold weather. But it wasn't the only fire. We're basically uh, south, don't have a lot of cold weather, so when we do, it's an unusual phenomenon and sometimes uh, we do have several, several accidents. Beaumont Fire Captain Earl White says firefighters responded to four major fires, three possibly weather related. A fire at a vacant economy inn, investigators say, started by transients trying to keep warm. Another one in the 2100 block of Pope Street, firefighters say, started with an electrical short and an attic fire. No one was injured. Now, Michaela Camp's family is left picking through piles of blackened rubble. It's crazy what made it and what didn't. A sentimental picture, what the flames spared. This is just material things, but my family means more to me than anything. In Beaumont, Hilly Bull, KFDM 6 News. Firefighters say during the cold, take precautions with fireplaces. Make sure there's a screen in front and the fire is out before you go to bed. If you use a space heater, leave at least three feet between it and anything flammable. If you can't plug it into the wall, use a multi-plug strip with a circuit breaker and check your smoke detectors. Beaumont firefighters were called to the scene of a garage fire in the 2300 block of Gladys this evening. Officials say they had to wake the man up who was living in the house to let him know his garage was on fire. There are no reports of any injuries. Fire Captain Brad Pennison says the fire was deliberately set and that investigation continues. In Port Arthur, another house fire. A man returned home this afternoon to find firefighters putting out a fire at his home in the 3100 block of 31st Street. When firefighters arrived, flames were shooting out of the house. Investigators say the fire was contained to one room in the attic, but the rest of the house suffered smoke damage.